What's up, YouTube Nation? Um, I was asked to do a tutorial for The Sea is a Good Place to Think of the Future. So we're going to do a tutorial for The Sea is a Good Place to Think of the Future. Uh, if you want to know where I learned this song, I watched Los Campesinos play it, and now I know how to play it. Uh, I'm not going to say any of the chord names, because if I'm being honest, I don't know them. So, we're going to take our pointer finger, we're going to put it on the second fret. I'm in standard tuning, by the way. I tune my guitar just for this, I'm normally always in E-flat tuning. We're going to put our pointer finger on the second fret of the fifth string, our ring finger on the fourth fret of the sixth string, and we're just going to strum that. you're gonna do you're gonna take this hand shape slide it up so your pointer finger is on the eighth fret but then you're gonna lift it up and put your middle finger on the seventh fret you're gonna do that twice and then you're just gonna use your pointer finger for this next part this is open you go two on the fifth on the fifth string four, six, and then you put your pointer finger here, and you're on the second fret of the sixth string, you put your ring finger on the fourth fret of the fifth string, you go, and here's where the way I play kind of deviates from the original. I stretch my pinky out to the sixth fret and go, but the way Los Campesinos plays it, they take their middle finger and they on the second fret of the sixth string, and they put their pointer finger on the, I think it's first fret of the D string. Yeah. So they go. And then pinky finger on the sec, on the fourth fret of the D string. So they go. Sorry, I don't play it that way, but that's, that's how they do it. Um, so I'm not the best at it, but the way I play it, I come here. I stretch my pinky out up to the sixth fret. And then I take my ring finger, I move it up one string. So I'm on the third string. No, I'm on the fourth string with my ring finger on the fourth fret. And then I go. So I play it. And then they play it. So play it whichever way you like, it doesn't really matter. But then the next thing they do, they go here, It's this is back to open, you, uh, they're on the second fret of the fifth fret. And then they go up to six, and then up to nine. So that, that's, that second part. And then it's the same thing we did that, that second time. And then the ending of that part is uh, the A or the fourth and fifth strings. You're on the fourth fret of the fourth string. And you go back down to the first fret. So all together that's... And then you play that a whole second time, you start singing, and then the next thing you're gonna play is the same, you're gonna play literally the same exact thing. You're playing this, exactly. Play all that that you just learned, but move everything up a string. So instead of playing six and five, you're playing five and four, five and four. So like that second verse, uh, at 14, her mother died in routine operation. That's... Same thing.
time it changes is this last little bit when, after the second. Uh, it does the same uh, fourth and fifth string, fourth fret. It's the same thing. That's not moved up a string. That ending is the same exact one as the first one. And then you're going to go to the chorus chords. We're going to play a C sharp minor. So that's barring the fourth fret. The sixth string is muted. Your middle fingers on the fifth fret of the of the second string. Your pinky finger is on the sixth fret of the third string. Your ring fingers on the sixth fret of the fourth string. And that's going to sound like this. Go to an E, which is a uh, pointer on the, the f pointer on the third string, first fret, ring finger on the fourth string, second fret, middle on the fifth string, second fret, and that's all the strings are open. We move to an A, that's just pointer, middle, and ring on the second fret of the second, third, and fourth strings, and then I use my thumb to mute this. Uh, so, so far we have... And then you go back to E. You kind of just swap between the, those two for a little bit, but then you go to an F sharp... M no. Just, yeah, this F, F sharp minor. You go to an F sharp minor, and that's barring the whole second fret, uh, ring finger on the fourth fret of the fifth string, pinky on the fourth fret of the fourth string, and you can use your middle finger to help this bar. And then you go back to C sharp minor, so. play that all again and that's the whole chorus and after the chorus you, you're on the C sharp minor you go to uh, four and six so four on the sixth string six on the fifth string take that same hand shape slide it up to the seventh fret twice and then you're going to move to the 12th fret pointer on the 11th fret of the fifth string middle on the 12th fret of the sixth string you're going to play and then your middle finger or your ring finger goes to the 13th fret of the fifth string which sounds kind of bad but then you climb up to the 14th fret of the fifth string. So all together that's and then you move up, take the same hand shape, move it up to the 14th fret. You're gonna go your this time your ring finger comes to the 14th fret. It's right under your other finger. So and this stretches up to the um 16th fret so those two together and then we go back to this first hand shape and we go up to 16 on the sixth on the sixth string and 14 on the fifth string and you go back to that second hand shape we did go to 16 14 and then you move that up a whole step to 18 16 so that whole part is and then you finish it with the same first part we played but it's uh, up a string so it's on four and five 
And then for a little bit, we're gonna play this first part we did going into the second verse, or not the second verse, the third verse, I think. We're gonna play that, but we're moving it up a string. So we're going between, we're on the four and five again. Uh, it's the same chords, just moved up. alternate between those until you get uh, to you may look down at your model's feet and wish that you just float away so after your model's feet you're gonna go back to that second part we played so remember this start part or no we're not gonna play the whole second part we're just gonna play the part where this is open so we're on the fourth and fifth strings we're just playing the part where we start with the open so we're playing this playing it all the way through to the end and we finish again and we go to the chorus the chorus is the same as the first one except you go around the first time the same way a whole second time but this the second time around they sing more they don't just end the chorus so you're not going to go to the c sharp minor once you get to the f sharp f sharp minor you're going to stay on here slide this all the way up a whole step to g sharp minor it's the same hand shape just slid up take the same hand shape slide it up one fret and then take your middle finger put it on the the uh, sixth fret of the third string, and that's going to be an A chord. Take this hand shape, move it up a whole step, and then it ends with a C sharp minor, but it's kind of weird. Oh, it's here. Um, it's kind of a weird hand shape, so uh, you slide these two fingers, keep them in place, slide them up to the um, 11th fret on the 4th and 5th strings, your pointer and middle are going to come to the 9th on the 2nd and 3rd strings, and you're going to mute these two strings. So that ending goes. That's it. That's the whole song. Hopefully that helped. I feel like I, I feel like uh, I might have I didn't miss anything, but I feel like I might have taught some of it poorly. So if you need any clarification on anything, feel free to ask me in the comments and I'll try to explain it better. But uh, that's about it for the song. Uh, see ya. Bye bye. Bye bye, YouTube Nation.